is Friday Live with me on YouTube. And we are talking about creating a fish. That's what we're going to be talking about today is fishing. No, it's about actually creating a balloon fish. And that's what we're going to talk about. So on this stream, what we're going to be talking about is creating this fish right here on Friday Live with me. We're actually streaming live. So woo! drop me a comment. Make sure you subscribe. That's what we're going to be talking about here today. Again, Friday Live with me, Dale LaBracta. So remember, subscribe to this channel. This channel is all about creating balloons, learning about the balloon industry, talking about entertainment. But what I'd like you to do right now, if you haven't done so, subscribe to this channel because uh, I want you there. I want you to be part of my group. Become part of my tribe. Follow me. Be with me. But today we're going to be talking about this fish right there. Now this fish I actually created almost two decades ago, 20 years ago, I created this fish and I've kind of safeguarded this fish because it's a cool little fish. It came out back when Nemo came out and Dory was the biggest uh, thing out there that people wanted, you know, Nemo or Dory. And uh, I came up with this fish sitting in a restaurant one day and it came off from the beginning of the basic fish, which at the time, everybody blew up a balloon, it twisted, and some people actually give this out as a fish. Uh, some people will actually take it to the next step or put eyes on it, and it's just really nasty looking. I, I mean, I've seen people turn this into fins. It's just a really ugly looking fish. So I've taken the fish to a different level. I made it a multicolor fish, given it some eyes, and that's what we're going to do. It's really simple, really easy to do. I have used this in display work. I've used it in decor work and in line work. So let's actually get into this. We're going to use three balloons. Now, the balloon colors I like to use are balloon colors that have a pop. I usually like to go with blue for the body because that's what Dory is. I will mix up the fins between yellow and pink, and today we're going to be using yellow, pink, and white. So, in theory, four balloons, three 260s, and a scrap for the eyes. Now, what I do is take a 260 balloon, I inflate it basically the majority of the way. Now, fold it in half, look for the half part right here. I'm going to take these ends, just twist them together, two little bubbles, wrap it through. Find the end, spin it around, so that gives me the center. Now, what I like on my fish is to actually have lips, so I do a pinch twist, and then I do another bubble, and a pinch twist here. So these are the lips. These are... Get your fish lips right there. Mm -hmm. Everybody do fish lips. Go ahead, do fish lips for me. Go. Mm -hmm. Come on, you know you want to do fish lips. That's what we have here. It's the fish lips and the back part of the tail. Now, at this point, it doesn't matter if it's perfect. Do not try to get the perfect. I actually like to have it offset. I like to have the smaller part on top and the larger part on top. Smaller on the bottom, big on top. That's what I wanted to say. The big part is on the top. The uh, the big part, the reason why I want that is because I found out that every time I tried making a fish, it seemed like a, one out of 10, I would get the perfect mix. Nine times out of 10, I would get a smaller one with a larger one. So I incorporated that into my design. I take the larger side somewhere, you know, around here, and I put another twist in. I'm just holding this part of the balloon, holding the back parts, Pinch, spin, so I now have this bridge right here. And that's going to become a key part in a moment. But what we're going to do is, what I like to do is put this on my arm. Grab my second balloon, which again is blown up almost all the way. I squeeze it. Just get some air there. Find the halfway point. Halfway point at this point. I now take this halfway point with the lips of the fish. Go in, 
usually wrap it around and I split the bubbles and I come down. So I have these long whiskers. Now at this point, I take my little bubble, it's twisted in the end. Take my other bubble, twist in the end. These are the sides of the fish. Now here comes the fun part. I'm going to take and make my fin. And when I do that, do you notice how the whole fish now takes on this distorted long look? It becomes a long body. I'm gonna just spin this around. So I now have this long shaped body and they vary from size to size. In this one, I'm going to have a taller fish. This one, I actually made it a little smaller. I used three quarters of the balloon instead of using the full balloon. Now, at this point, I have my flippers, my fins off to the side. I have my lips. I have this joint here, which I'm going to use the second balloon, or excuse me, the third balloon, if I know how to count. One, two, three, uno, dos, tres, three balloons. Now, it, it doesn't matter where this runs off. Again, I try to do about three quarters. Again, this balloon was actually designed for line twisting. So when I made it, it was just inflate a balloon and whatever size balloon I wound up with after a pump or two is where I was at. So now what I wanna do is create the eyebrows of the fish. Yes, my fish have eyebrows. Why not? That gives it a little exciting, exciting? Gives us a personality, so it's ah! you know, personality. We all have personality. Now, what I wanna do at this point is I'm gonna take and create a pinch twist. Normal, small, little pinch twist. It doesn't have to be really small, just one inch bubble or two fingers, depending on how you wanna do it. Make two identical pinch twists. At this moment, I'm gonna take that pinch twist and tie it into this section. So all I do is wrap it around, Pull it up and over. Now, this becomes the top part of the fish. So about a hand length, bubble, pinch twist. So on the second half, I'm doing a lot of pinch twists, two pinch twists. I come up, about a hand, or this is my raised fin, another pinch twist. Guide this down to about here. And at this point, I could do a couple different things. I've done it over the years where I take this, I just twist it around, wrap it around. So I have this loop, take that loop, wrap it into those bubbles down at the bottom. La la la, those four bubbles were done for a specific reason. It locks the tail in perfect. It holds that in, it gives that joint. At this point, I just take the balloon and I'm pinching and twisting. It gives me the tail, give it a little shape, just bending it, squeezing some air. I now have the top of the fish. It's a very regal fish. It's got a uh, big personality to it. It's got a big image. You put it on this side, as you can see. It's got this big image, where is it, right here. Fills up my whole screen. And take this a little farther back here so you can actually see the look. Now this is where the eyes are gonna be. Now if I'm in a hurry, I could go cheap. I could just draw some eyes right here and be done. If I'm doing line work and I don't wanna go for round, boom, put eyes right there. If I have rounds, I will take a round. And I could use a round as an eyeball which gives it a cool effect. In here, let me go in my bag real quick. I got my bag here. If you wanna take the, now they're not gonna show up too well. I gotta move up closer here. It's reflecting really bad. These are, these are the eyeballs, the, the bloodshot eyeballs. You can put that in there. What I typically do, so again, I'm doing this for line work. 
Uh, let me put this. I have a tendency to throw it on my arm when I need to uh, put it someplace instead of putting it down on the ground. Just take a white round. I'm just going to make two bubbles. Twist this around. Break it off. And I'm going to break off a fairly large section because what I do now is instead of having oblong, I want these more rounded. So what I do is I take this nozzle. Let me step up closer here so you can see better. I take this nozzle and I wrap it around. As I do that, I'm bringing and making these a rounder. Rounder? I guess it would be rounder. Uh, I'm, I'm compressing this. Now that I have this part right here, I take that, tie it right into the eye socket. Go up, down, pull it through the eyes again, take that tail, wrap it around a couple times. Right here, you notice I have my eyebrows now. I put my eyes on, pull out my good old Sharpie marker. Nice, nice big circles. Trying to get them the same size. You want to put eyebrows on, you can. I put the eyebrows right on the eyes. Nobody's ever commented about that. Which brings up the thing, if you have any comments, do me a favor, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of this design. It's simple, it's easy. And typically how I would start out when I'm goofing around with kids, I, you know, I ask them what they want, they don't know what they want. So they usually tell me, I don't know what I want. Tell you what, I got something special for you. Here you go, here's a worm, because you don't know what you want. Just a blown up 260. From that, I usually then lead off into the fish because then I take the worm from them. I put it right in the fish's mouth and there it goes. The fish swims away with eating a worm. So again, if the kid doesn't know what they want, you can make them a worm from the worm and then create the fish. This is very simple, very easy to do. Again, do me a favor. I'm doing this for fun, but I also would like you to become a subscriber. So remember, subscribe to this channel. I go live every Friday and I teach designs. I talk about the industry. This was simple, quick, easy to do. And hey, do me a favor, leave me a comment, you know, because I want to know if you like this one. Again, if you've ever made something similar to this, I have done this for decor work. When I need to have a nice fish scene, I will use this. Where's, you know, and this is what, like I say, this was the crap people used to show. Ah, this was garbage people used to show. This is what I came up with. I don't even know what happened to my original. It swam off here, folks. But again, my name is Dale Abrocta, the magical balloon dude. You guys have a great day. Enjoy. Remember, subscribe to this channel. Have fun. Be good. Be safe. Be wise. Bye-bye. Make sure you click on that subscribe button and never miss a video. Subscribe now. Click the little bell and always be notified of a live broadcast. Follow me on Instagram. And if you're a TikTok fan, you'll find me under the same name, Dale LaBrocta. Looking forward to seeing you on social media.